Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, this is uh, very cute. <laughs> so, uh, in this video, we are going to talk about arrow handling. Um, we cannot guarantee our application there's uh, no bugs. Okay, they won't have any error thrown. So we cannot guarantee that. I think no one cannot guarantee that. Uh, if I remember correctly, long time ago, uh, there is a statistics about how many bugs can be found during how many lines of code. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's, uh, it's talking about uh, Microsoft. For every 1,000 1, lines of code, it's probably will have uh, uh, 20 to 30, 10 to 20 bugs. Okay, and for normal companies, average is like a, a 30 to 50 bugs. Okay, for every 1,000 lines of code. So it's very, very important to provide the error handling in our application, okay? Otherwise, if we don't provide either our application shut down, suppose it's very uh, serious, okay? Then no one can access, okay? Probably during the holidays, your application just shut down and uh, you have to rush into the office to fix it, okay? Anyway, this is not a good. And, uh, uh, in express the in inside the node you have uh, oh sorry in JavaScript you we can we already learned how to do the error handling like uh, you can using track catch okay and uh, for synchronous uh, code and uh, if we uh, using asynchronous code like uh, in Node.js for every callback function the first parameter is uh, represent error okay so you can paste the error is none or none or is none or not none and to decide how to handle your error and uh, for this video we will learn how to using express to do the error handling so it's a pretty simple introduction is longer than the code writing so let's start how to do the error handling? It's still. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Error handling. It's still yes a uh, uh, middleware. Instead, the middleware has uh, four parameter. Previously, our middleware is defined as a function which has three parameters, request, response, next, right? But uh, for error handling middleware, it will have additional error parameter, which is uh, as the first one. So for any error, error through in this application, it's going to be catched by this error handling method uh, middleware and uh, here we can use in status and give 5000 five, uh, sorry not 5500 500, 500 it's a uh, uh, status code HTTP status code represent internal server error and here we will give uh, something broke okay and here you can provide a uh, a better uh like a four four page you can provide a better ui okay uh, here i just for demo purpose okay and now how to mimic uh, we can get inside of here uh, then what i do is here let's uh, do let's okay let's do one route dot gate suppose for arrow demo okay then we have a uh, res uh, sorry request response next okay and here i just throw new arrow this is uh, to test arrow handling in express okay okay 
And uh, now let's make a call to here and to if everything is as our expected, we should be able to see this one. Okay, to see something block because here through arrow and then it's gonna be caught by this one. Okay, so let's take a look at. Uh, we go to slash arrow demo something block and if there's no arrow everything works as before okay uh, remember the arrow handling express it has a, it's a middleware and uh, it has extra parameter which is arrow as the first one the other are the same as before so <coughs> There's another thing I want to mention here. For error handling, you cannot put it here. Okay, you cannot put it before all the routes. Because if you put it here for all the requests, it's gonna go to uh, oh, 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 oh. So let's go to the error demo. Okay, the error demo, it won't handle it because it cannot find. Error demo, you can see that. There's no error, it just threw the exception, but you didn't see that something broke. Because our routes is registered here, right? And your error handling is before these routes. And uh, the express to register our middleware is based on the order in the source code. So after this one, I cannot see any error handling. Okay, that's why we have to put our error handling almost as the last, okay? So in this case, when we see, you will see something broke, okay? So that's it for this video. The source code is on the GitHub and you can download it through the description. And if you have any question, leave me a comment. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.